who is an actor that played a villain so well that you still hate the actor. Jesse Eisenberg did such a good job at playing such a whiny, entitled little asshole in the social network that I can't watch any other movies with him in it without instantly hating his character, whether he's supposed to be likable or not. He plays that snarky condescending character so well. To be fair, I hear the guy he plays in that movie is quite the whiny, entitled little asshole in real life. Percy in the Green Mile. Doug Hutchison. I never wanna see him again. The guy was 50 when he married a 16 year old. For me, his creep factor extends beyond the Green Mile. Difference is, the guy is also a massive, douchy creep in real life as well. Jack Gleason in Game of Thrones. I hear he is a very nice person, but I still liked watching him get poisoned. I think that probably helps him in the long run. Sure, the character sucked but at least he dies a horrible death, so there's some release for the fans. I read somewhere that he was so disgusted by his own character that he didn't watch the series at all and after it got over he moved on from acting commercially. You and Rian aka Ramsey Bolton. I finished watching Misfits just before his first got season. Threw me for a heck of a loop going from sweet Simon to evil Ramsey. He will always be Simon the panty sniffer who pissed through a letterbox to me. Pam Ferris as Ms. Agatha Trunchbull, Matilda. She also played Aunt Marge in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. If you ever hear Mara Wilson talking about Pam Ferris, she reports that she was just the sweetest woman. A lot of people loathed Drafe Fines after Schindler's List, and were quite open about it. He's quite a genial person in interviews so it must have been quite difficult for him at the time. I always think of Grand Budapest when I think of him. And Voldemort. John Noble as Denethor in Elotr. I still get angry watching him eat those tomatoes. Luckily, I'm a huge French fan so Walter makes up for it. However, he channels Denethor for Walter Nate. They did Denethor dirty in the movies. He still plays it so fantastically. Not hate, but after watching Gone Girl, I'm scared of Rosamund Bike. Scared enough to Google her to make sure I spell her name correctly. For me it was the opposite. Pride and Prejudice, 2005, is one of my favorite movies and she plays Jane Bennett there, who is one the kindest person in the story. I have seen the movie several times so by the time I watched Gone Girl it just didn't hit me that hard, since in my mind I was still associating her with Jane Bennett. Edit, to whomever gave me the award, thank you smile. Jason Isaacs in The Patriot. Jason Isaacs in anything really. That stupid little boy. Did he die? Blood boiling. Maybe not hate, but the guy who plays Homelander in The Boys is fucking terrifying, makes you wonder what kind of person he really is. Agreed, even the characters in the show are fucking terrified of what he will do if they don't bend over backwards to appease him. New season in three days. Jesse Plemons as Todd from Breaking Bad. Also him in that one episode of Black Mirror. So great at playing gross, fucked up people. He's great in Game Night. He did a season of Fargo with Kirsten Dunst. Both were incredible in it. Maybe not a villain per se but the guy who played Jeremy Jam in Parks and Rec had a face you just needed to punch. And the personality matched perfectly. You just got jammed. He's on an adult swim show called Neon Joe Werewolf Hunter. You will hate him less. Louise Fletcher, best known as Nurse Ratched in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. She's on my mind right now because I'm binge watching Star Trek Deep Space Nine, in which she occasionally appears as the comparably villainous Vedic Wynn. One of the best scenes in the entire series Win. I have often sensed that you don't approve of how I conducted myself as Kai, that you believe I put my own political interests ahead of the spiritual well-being of our people. I wish I could disagree with that assessment. I have strayed from the path the prophets laid down for me. Kira, Eminence. Win, you don't know. You don't know. 
Greek era, eminence, when you told me that the prophets had spoken to you, I prayed that they would open your heart, that they would change you. When, I want to change. I'd do anything to earn their forgiveness, not I'm afraid it's too late. Kira, it's never too late. The worst of us can be redeemed. When, how? Kira, I'm not a Vedic, but it seems to me that you have to set aside the things that led you astray. Ambition, jealousy. When, oh yes, I have given in to the temptations of power. Kira, turn away from temptation. When, yes. Kira, give yourself over to the prophets. When, I'll do whatever it takes to make myself worthy in their eyes. Kira, everything will change once you step down as Kai. You'll see. When, step down? I don't understand. Why would I do that? By all needs me. Kira, eminence, being in power is what led you on the wrong path. When, I've resolved to change. Don't you see? Once I have regained the Prophet's trust, I'll be better able to serve them if I remain Kai. If the Prophets wanted me to step down, surely they would have told me so. Kira, they don't always use words to make their wishes known. Sometimes they speak to us by touching our hearts, but only you would know if they had done that. Win, but by all needs me. Kira, good night, eminence. She was such an unusual villain. Well said, my child. I've come to terms with it now, so not exactly what you're looking for, but Joffrey's bitch ass was enduringly infuriating. It's funny too because Jack Gleason is apparently the nicest dude in real life. His performance was incredible. Gleason managed to make people cheer for the scene where child dies painful death in front of his helpless mother. I haven't looked at John Lithgow the same way since he was Trinity in Dexter. He'll always be the alien dude in Third Rock. Or his most villainous role, Farquaad. Paul Reiser as Burke in Aliens he was such a little shit in that movie, and played that role so well, I forgot he was a comedian. It was a bad call Ripley. A bad call. Benny from The Mummy, that no, good weasel. Looks like he's on the wrong side of the river. He's a no good weasel of an Igor in Van Helsing as well. Joaquin Phoenix in Gladiator. I haven't been able to see him as a protagonist since. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.